Hello, welcome to this weekend's attempt at a weekend reading vlog. I don't know how many times I've said that over the last few months. I've been trying and failing to film reading vlogs for so long and I've also been basically absent from YouTube for the entire month of April and I just kind of want to film a vlog. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna just try it out. I'm gonna try to film a vlog this weekend and see if I can like get back into the swing of things, essentially. So I'm outside today, one, because it's a beautiful day today. It's so nice outside, sun shining, the weather's nice, and the temperature is perfect. Also, the inside of my house is just kind of a wreck. Like, I, it's a disaster. So I don't wanna be inside, I wanna be outside. So here I am. Because this is a vlog, a reading vlog, I'm gonna attempt to make it a reading vlog, I need to tell you what I'm reading. And I'm reading some hefty books right now. So let's talk about them. I usually have a few books on the go. I usually try to read like something physically and something via audio, sometimes also an ebook. And I have all three of those things here right now. I do have all these books physically, but I'm reading them all in different mediums. Let's start with the book that I'm reading physically. And that is A Gathering of Shadows by V.E. Schwab. This is the second book in the Shades of Magic series. And I am on page 346. So about like 60, percent of the way in. I've been reading this since March, since the beginning of March, and I am I'm struggling with it, to be honest. I talked about this, I think, back in back in March, you know, in a weekly reads video about how I was like enjoying it. I was I was having fun with it just like I did with the first book in the series. I don't know, somewhere around like the 150 page mark, I just stopped caring basically like I just got really bored and just didn't didn't care I basically put it down for an entire month and I decided that I'm gonna try to finish it this weekend I'm gonna try to finish it tonight because I want to be done with it I want to get it off my currently reading shelf you probably already know what the Shades of Magic series is about so I'm not gonna get into that the first book is really fun action-packed fast-paced I really enjoyed that and the second book is to a certain extent but it also centers around this magical game and there's some new characters that are introduced and I'm not I'm just not loving the execution of the story. V. Schwab wants me to care about Delilah Bard so much like you can tell that she loved writing that character and she wants everybody to love that character as much as she loves her and because I feel like I'm just being forced to love her I don't give a shit about her. Like, I don't care about her at all. She is literally like my least favorite character in this book because I think she's kind of like selfish and entitled. I don't know. I just want the book to be over, to be honest. So, I'm reading that physically. And then on ebook, as an ebook, I'm reading My Favorite Thing is Monsters by Emile Ferris, which is a giant, like, graphic. Of course, I turned to the page about. Oh, so it's like a giant, um, like, graphic novel type of story. And I am, where am I at in this? I'm like right here. So about, I don't know, probably like close to 50% of the way into the book. And I don't get it. I think I'm just too stupid for this book, to be honest. This is like a coming of age story. It's about a girl named Karen who is living in Chicago in the 1960s and 70s. A lady in her apartment was in her like apartment complex was recently found dead and the police ruled it a suicide, but Karen thinks that she might have been murdered. And so she basically, chooses to, like she decides to investigate she's gonna she's setting out to investigate and see what it actually happened to this woman also Karen believes in monsters and she believes that she herself is like a wolf essentially she thinks she's like been or she would like to be like a wolf man I think it's just like kind of a metaphor for her not understanding herself or her identity or sexuality anything like that the art in it is like truly fantastic like it's so beautiful but I don't understand the story. I, I just, I feel like I'm missing something, but I'm 50% in and I'm gonna try to finish it. I'm not giving up on it just yet. I did think about it. I really did honestly think about DNFing it, but I decided to push through and I'm gonna try to finish it and see how I feel. And then finally, the book that I am listening to via audio is A Little Life by Hanya Yanagihara. I, I don't know. This is a lot. So if you don't know, A Little Life is about these four friends. They became friends in college when they were all like roommates. And this book basically follows their friendship through their 20s and 30s and into their like later life. And it also mainly focuses on one of the friends. His name is Jude. And he's had like the most traumatic 
life that a person could have throughout the book you get kind of like glimpses into his past as well as like his friendship with these other other three boys it's a really hard book to read i mean everybody everybody says this but if you are thinking about reading this like really seriously check the trigger warnings because there's so much detail about so many very triggering things specifically like physical and sexual abuse that uh, I just you can't read it without being affected also I have cried four times so far reading this it is really hard to read and I do have to listen to it in like spurts like I can't just listen to the audiobook all but a bunch in one go like I have to listen to like 30 minutes here, 30 minutes there, because it's a lot to to, to digest. And also, um, I gave myself a headache yesterday from all the crying. So I don't want to say I wanna, I'm enjoying it, but I'm, I'm appreciating the story. And I'll be honest though, like where I'm at in the book, it hasn't gotten super graphic. I did a thing, which I have done for a lot of books in the past. I looked up kind of a synopsis or like a breakdown of how the book was gonna play out because I knew that there was going to be a moment in this book where things got a little bit more graphic more detailed a little bit harder to read and for the first like 25 percent of the book it felt like i was like constantly tense about when it was gonna get there you know i just i was i was constantly worried that the next chapter or the next sentence even would be something that would be like kind of more brutal more like difficult to read so i went on wikipedia and i read the entire like basically plot of the book i don't really mind if books like if I'm spoiled for books, like I really like spoilers to be honest. I almost always read a movie synopsis before I go see it because I'm just that kind of person. And also just the nature of the story, you kind of can predict where where certain elements of it are gonna go. So it wasn't like I really truly spoiled myself because this isn't like a plot heavy book. It's more about the characters specifically Jude and about his development into his adulthood. I just needed to know when to expect those scenes to come up. And so I think it's, it's actually helped my enjoyment of the, the reading experience more because I'm not feeling like so much tension. Anyway, as I was saying, um, where I'm at in the book, things have not gotten too graphic, to be honest. Like, it's been very tame, I guess. Like, there's been some some hints at, some instances of some things being, like, implied or referred to, but nothing, like, super graphic has happened yet. And I know that's coming, and I'm, I am nervous about it. Even though I'm prepared for it, I know I'm I am still a little bit worried about how I'll react actually like reading it. I am enjoying the reading experience of it so far and I'm I'm seeing some I'm seeing value in the story. So I'm enjoying it as much as you can enjoy a book like this. That's what's going on this weekend. Three kind of longer books. I, I don't anticipate finishing this this weekend because I am like taking my time with it, but I would really like to finish both of these this weekend so that's gonna be kind of my goal if I could finish both of these by tomorrow then they'll go in my April wrap-up which would be great so yeah I'm just gonna sit out here it's so nice outside I'm gonna sit out here and I'm gonna read for a little bit then I think Cole and I might like go get some dinner later I don't really know we don't really have a plan for this weekend so I'm not gonna be like it's probably not gonna be the most exciting vlog but I'm just trying to like get back into making videos and vlogs seem like a fun fun thing to do so that's what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna go read and I will check in in a little bit. I'm gonna read this because this is what I want to be done with, so. say hi. Is that the crying book? Mm-hmm. Even the person on the book is crying. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Will you reach over and turn that off? How do you turn it off? The on-off button at the top. This little flat one? Mm -hmm. Okay, we decided to go to Target. And then we're gonna go get some hot dogs and we're gonna grill. Right? Yes. We're gonna go to Target first. 
then we're gonna to go to Sam's and get hot dogs because Sam's has the best hot dogs. They really are the best hot dogs. Okay, it's been a few hours. We actually went and ran all of our errands. Um, we went to Target, got a couple of things, and then we went to Sam's and got the hot dogs. And now we're back and we're almost done making dinner. I've got some potatoes in the oven and I made a little like summertime pasta salad, which it, my potatoes are done. Okay, Google, stop. So Cole's just grilling really fast. Meat should be done pretty soon. And then we're gonna eat, probably watch a couple episodes of Breaking Bad, which we are watching right now, me, for the very first time. So I thought I would just quickly talk about this some more. Um, I'm so close to being done. I'm on page 360, and I think there's uh, just over 500 pages. So I have like, about 150 pages left. I feel the same way that I felt about it earlier. I just, I wish I cared more, but I just don't. Same. Don't spray me. So I'm gonna sit here and read a little bit while I wait for him to finish grilling and then we'll eat like I said So um, hopefully I'll finish it tonight. My goal is to finish it before I go to bed tonight uh, We'll see if that actually happens Stay tuned. Hello. It's been a little while. We ate dinner and watched some TV and um, Played a new game that we bought at Target earlier. So I actually haven't done any more reading. Also, if you've been around a while, you uh, might remember that for like three years I was wearing glasses that were broken on one side and then I basically stopped wearing glasses altogether because the other side broke and now I've got new ones. And they both have sides that are not broken, which is very exciting. I am just about to go to bed actually. I am gonna lay here and I'm gonna read for a little while. My goal for tonight, because I don't think I'm gonna be able to finish the rest of the book tonight because I'm just getting a little tired and it is already 11 o'clock but my goal for tonight is that I would like to finish part eight which would be about 30 more pages I have an appointment in the morning at like 10 30 and then I'm gonna go hang out with a friend for a little while in the afternoon probably for the majority of the afternoon and into the evening so I really don't know how much reading or vlogging I'm gonna do tomorrow but I'm gonna try my best I'm gonna try to finish this in the morning like before I even go to my appointment um, so that I can just be be done with it and then you know if this is the only book I finish in this vlog I will be happy because I've been reading it for like almost two months at this point and I want to be done with it but also I would like to make some progress in my favorite thing is monsters and a little life if I'm feeling up for it so that's kind of my plan but like I said don't really know how much reading or vlogging I'm gonna get done tomorrow but for now I'm gonna go read I'm gonna turn my camera off I'm gonna read I'm gonna set a timer probably for like 30 minutes and see if I can just plow through those 30 pages and then I'm gonna go to sleep and I will check in with you guys in the morning. Good morning. Happy Saturday. It is currently 8 30. I've been awake for a while actually. I woke up at like 7 30 and just decided to get up. It's Saturday so I usually probably wouldn't get up until like closer to right now or nine but you know sometimes you just have the energy so you get up take a shower and everything gets like I said I have a thing to do at 10 30 um, but now I'm having some coffee I am trying a new coffee creamer this morning it's the Chobani oat vanilla coffee creamer I like it but there is a little bit of a weird taste to it almost kind of like it tastes a little bit perfumey if that makes sense which it probably doesn't but I don't know it's, it's a little bit weird but I like it like I said, it's about 8.30 and uh, my friend is coming to pick me up at 10 or a little after 10. And so I am gonna sit here and I'm gonna read for the next hour and a half and I'm gonna try to finish this book. I didn't end up getting to the end of part eight or nine or whatever it was I said last night because I fell asleep. So I'm going to do that right now. I'm gonna finish, I'm gonna read as much of this as possible and hopefully, hopefully finish it off. Anyway, I'm gonna go finish this and then I will check in maybe before I leave if I finish this. So we'll see. And yeah, my dog does lay on the corner of the couch right there. She thinks that's appropriate. Your thing's not up, your eyeballs not open all the way. I think they call it blinking. <laughs> what are you reading these days? This is a reading vlog after all. Oh. 
Oh, I do have a book checked out on audiobook. Let me pull it up. I forgot okay. What it was. Oh, no, it's the one you recommended, the cultish. Oh, okay. Tell me yeah. how you feel about I it. I haven't started it. Oh, okay. I just got it yesterday. Oh, okay. You were on, on hold. hold yeah. Mm -hmm. so, well, you'll have I'm to keep me appraised of your feelings. Okay. How many do you usually give him? Like three or four? Um, <laughs> three, four, five, I don't know. Whatever falls out of the bag. I mean, just, we shake it. I mean not, not like 20 or nothing. Just. Mm. Well, I can't really see the trees because his head's in the way. Yeah. They're shaped like. I don't know what they're shaped like, but. Such a cute boy. So handsome. So it is much later. As predicted, I did not get a lot of reading or vlogging time in today because I was with my friend all day. So I have not finished this yet. I'm currently on page 423. So uh, I have like 50, 60 pages left. What I'm gonna do right now is I am going to lay down in bed and I'm gonna drink this entire uh, jug of water. I'm thirsty, I'm really, I just feel like I need a lot of water. So I'm gonna drink all of this and while I'm drinking that, I am going to read. So however long it takes me to finish this, which is almost completely full. It's how long I'm gonna spend reading and then I'm gonna go to sleep. So I'm hopefully gonna finish it tonight or like probably get up early and finish it first thing in the morning. Either way, this is going to be my last clip of the day because I'm about to go to sleep. So I will let you know how it goes in the morning when I wake up. But yeah, got, got some water here that I need to drink because I'm very thirsty. Good morning, happy Sunday. It is currently 9.30. Uh, I just got up. I ended up staying up until almost two. <laughs> And I finished. <laughs> uh, I'm so angry. And here's why. Because it took me two months to read this, essentially. I wasn't enjoying it for the majority of like this like middle section. The ending got me. I sped through the last couple of chapters and the last couple chapters just sucked me back into this world and these stories. And I went online and bought the third one. And that will be here in a couple of days and I'm going to read it. The reason that I didn't love this is because I found the characters so fun and endearing and the story was so action packed and adventurous in book one. And it felt like completely the opposite in this one. I really liked Kel as a character and I feel like we just he almost gets pushed to the back in this one this feels much more like it's lila's book and as i said in my previous clip um in a previous clip i feel like the ishwab wants you to like lila so much that she's just pushing it down your throat that you have to like her that she's this cool badass person and i don't care for her what i liked about her in book one which was her like independence and her like ability to survive anything and her desire to be more than she is. I like all that in book one and then in this one it just feels like it's magnified to a much greater degree and she's not as likable in this one. She's not as, I don't root for her as much because I'm being told so often how cool and awesome and great she is and how natural she is at everything and I just I don't believe it I don't want to care about her because I'm be I feel like I'm being forced to but I am gonna read book three and hopefully I'm gonna like it more <laughs> I don't know I don't know today is Sunday and it's the day I do all my adult things like clean my house and laundry and change the sheets on my bed and all that stuff so that is pretty much what today is going to consist of but it's still morning and I would like to eat some breakfast and I'm gonna just relax for a little bit I think I'm gonna go play a little bit of switch and maybe listen to a little bit of my audiobook then I will get the day started with all the things that I need to get done hello it's been a few hours been quite a few hours actually it is already 5 30. I've gotten a lot of stuff done today not as much as I want to get done like I still have some things I need to do before the new week starts but I've been making some pretty good progress in a little life I'm up to page 541 so um 
just a little bit left to go. I'm not gonna finish it today. I, I might finish it like I might finish it today, but I'm not gonna finish it before the vlog ends because I'm about to end it right now, I think. I just wanna say that it is a really heartbreaking book. Like there's some sad moments, there's definitely some very dark topics. It's difficult to read at times. Seriously, everybody is right. Check the trigger warnings before you pick up this book. But it's not quite as graphic as I was anticipating. I mean, yes, it is graphic, but it's not quite to the level that I thought it was going to be at, which I'm glad for because I was afraid I wasn't going to be able to handle it. It's tough to read for sure. And there have been moments where it's been hard, hard to get through, but it's not as difficult as I was imagining that I was at, as I was anticipating. So. I'm pleasantly surprised by that. I'm still really enjoying the reading experience and I have a bad feeling about how it's going to end and I think it's going to absolutely break me. So um, that's gonna be fun to experience. It was such an interesting weekend getting back into booktube, trying to get back into booktube, trying to get back into vlogging and stuff. I feel like I wanna try to do, sorry, my hair is driving me crazy. I really need to go get it cut. I feel like I wanna try to do some just regular, weekly vlogs. Not that I have like a super interesting life or anything, but sometimes the vlogs just easier. Sometimes it's just easier to like sit down and talk about books as I'm reading them. And I tried to film my May wrap up earlier. It was so nice outside and I, w I went outside and I set my camera up and books and everything. And I was like, I'm gonna film it on my back patio because it's so nice today. And I just, I didn't want to. I just, I got like 20 minutes into filming it. I talked about like five or six books. And I just was not having a good time filming it, which is weird because wrap-ups are typically my favorite types of videos to film, but I've not been enjoying them lately. So I'm thinking about kind of switching it up a little bit, maybe doing just more like vlog type stuff and then doing like some little mini wrap-ups or like recent reads or something and not try to do wrap-ups at the end of every month. If I really try to do some more like reading vlogs, then it's not really worth it to also do a wrap-up if I talk about every book that I read in a vlog. I'd love to hear your opinions. If you prefer like a wrap-up style video, recent reads, like every five or six books, like if that would be something you'd like, or reading vlogs if like that's fine for you as far as like wrapping up a book goes. I don't know, I, I'm just interested to hear what people think, how, how people feel about it. But yeah, it was a really good weekend. I. I'm glad that I did this, even if it doesn't turn out great. I'm glad that I spent the weekend doing it. Let me know if you have read any of the books that I mentioned in this video and what you thought about them. What did you read this weekend? What are you currently reading? What are you gonna pick up next? How is May starting off for you? I'd really love to know. I guess that's it. Thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.